For those few of you who do not know who I am, I am Kwame McDonald, a longtime resident of St. Paul, Minnesota. This is Kwame McDonald with SPNN. You know, one of the things that um, of my grandmother, my auntie, my mother, my father's uncles, aunts uh, gave me was a sense that I had no limits. When I went to Ghana, West Africa, in 1968, I had um, been so enthralled and thrilled uh, with my African past as I discovered it that uh, I wanted to maintain that, retain it to the extent that I could. And when we went to pick him up, um, he got off the plane, um, he had an afro, he had on dark shades, he had on black gloves, he had on the dashiki and he got off the plane walking like this. I wanted you at that time to be like every other dad. People were making fun of you, not to your face, of course. <laughs> they were making fun of me. You did, you got up, you gave a speech, you did real well, you kind of brought the house down. And that kind of changed my whole outlook on what you were about, because mm -hmm. I was confused up to that point. For me, arriving at a certain place, mm -hmm. becoming the star football player, becoming the Supreme Court Justice, isn't really that important. It's the journey. Mm -hmm. It's growing and developing as a person that's really important. I had those young kids in the Urban League. Mm -hmm. My job was to boost them up, help them along, but also to develop jobs. Mm -hmm. The reason I say that I've kind of moved on is because all a job is, is working for somebody else. And I want us to be able to work for ourselves. One of the things about St. Paul that is unique in other communities I've been in is its spirituality, its innate love, for self and each other. When you walk down the street in St. Paul, you feel wanted. When you're sitting in a coffee shop in St. Paul, you feel wanted. When you are teaching young people how to do things, you feel wanted. And I suppose I could use another word uh, than wanted. You feel needed. You feel a part of what's going on and every little contribution that you make. Uh, I have no idea what my first memories of Connie McDonald are just because he was always there. He was just, as a, as a young person, uh, he was there at the community center. He was there at the uh, community theater plays. He was there at the rec center. He was there at the library. Uh, he was there at my track meets or when we'd go to the Central High School football game. Uh, he was just always there where, where there was an opportunity to cheer on St. Paul students, uh, to cheer on African-American students, uh, to mentor somebody, uh, to help uh, where, where where students were angry about something and wanted to take action about something, uh, mm -hmm. where there was a high school football game uh, or where there was a good cup of coffee, uh, you could find Carmen McDonald. Basic thing that I think young people need is self-love and self-confidence. If you love yourself, you will never let you down. Be who you are do not try to be somebody else that you think you would like to be. Be who you are, and it will all come together. <laughs>